In this video, I'm gonna demonstrate how to set up an Intel Nook in a very short time frame. Right, first things first, this is the Intel Nook. If you're interested in the model, this happens to be the Nook uh, i5BNH. And then remember, the Intel Nook does not come with any built-in RAM. So there is a RAM. This is the 1.2 volts. I'm using the 8 gig and I'm just using a Transcend. I've got no problems with Transcend and it must be DDR4. Then it, the Nook also does not come with any storage. So you have to buy your own uh, little hard drive or a M.2 card such as this. So this is the SSD. And uh, I um, also am using the Transcend. Very reasonable price. This happens to be 128 gig. All right, so the Nook is here. There is the Nook. This is the power supply. And these are the various country adapters. Depending on which location you are, depends on the adapter you will be using. Now, as you can see, it's uh, pretty uh, self-explanatory. You, you slide off that little cap there, and depending on your country, you will then slide your uh, various fitting on. This is a Visa type bracket. If you want to put the Nook on a monitor, well, you could just install the Nook to the bracket, and then the Nook, um, what will happen is it could be at the back of your monitor, because on most monitors there is a Visa bracket which allows you to put the Nook onto it, or to attach the monitor to a wall. So in this case, I'm not gonna use that, because the Nook is just gonna be standalone. And uh, it also comes with this. This is the little, um, spacer that you will use for the card and I'll show you how to do that. So without further ado, let us open the Nook. You will need a star screwdriver. I'm just gonna use an electric one. And as you can see, there is the uh, 2.5 inch hard drive bay, which I'm not going to use. So just be very careful when you are moving around here. And now I'm going to open these two. This is a blister pack, so you will have to cut it. And just remember that you must have no static near you. So as you can see, I'm on a tile floor. There's no carpets. So you always got to be careful and observe um, protocol here when you are touching electronic uh, devices. There we go. There is the... Um All right, so there is the SSD. Now the RAM slots here, there are two bays. It does say there 1.2 volt DDR4, and this also says here 1.2 volt DDR4. This happens to be 2,133 megahertz, and this can only go in one way. Now I don't know if you can see here, there is a lip here, and there is a lip there, so this can only be put in one way. I'm gonna put it in the bottom slot, and what you do is you press it in, and as you can see, once I press it in, uh, these little arms collapse and hold on to the RAM. That's it. So you could put two uh, 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 DIMMs there. And now for the little uh, SSD. Now you can see here, let's see if we can open that. Now this is happens to be a spare because I can already see there is one there. And it all depends on the length of the card here. You can see this card, you can see the length of it, but you do get shorter cards. And if you can see there, just over there, there is another space or thread for your little spacer, so that one would go there. But because the card is the length of the already installed um, a screw spacer here, I'm now just going to open that spacer and install the card. Now, this is usually not very tight. As you can see, I've just done this uh, with my hand. And it does help if you use a magnetized screwdriver. And now we put this in here like that. Now, watch how we do it. I first put it horizontal. Then I squeeze it in. And now I attach the screw onto the screwdriver bit and I then tighten this on over here, just like that. And you can also do this hand tight and that's enough. Right, so there we go. There is the SSD, there is the RAM installed there and now I'm not making use of this hard drive bay. So I'll just put this back in. It's just uh, going to be here doing nothing. Right, now when putting the unit back together, 
it's quite important to get this uh, orientation correct. You can see there's a sign there and it says front. So this is, is uh, not the front, this is the back. So therefore the front must go like that. And now we can just seat that. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna screw it in. Right, in order to set up the operating system, you're going to need to install the software. Now, in terms of this not having a CD writer, you could use a standalone DVD writer if you had the disk for uh, Microsoft Windows or whatever operating system you want to put on here. But nowadays, we don't uh, do that as as often anymore. We rather just use the memory stick. It is quite, it's quite a bit faster as well. All right, you also need a mouse and keyboard. Now, as you can see, I'm just using the Logitech. And the Logitech, this is a unifying uh, little Bluetooth dongle here. And what happens is it means that both these will work onto that dongle. Now, if you don't have a setup like this, then you will probably plug it in directly, or maybe you have a different brand. Maybe it's a Microsoft brand or a different brand. So this uh, little dongle here is allowing me to have mouse access and keyboard access when I set up Microsoft Windows. And then here is the Microsoft Windows on the memory stick. So I will get, put that in there. Right, in order to install the Microsoft 10 from the USB drive you go to microsoft.com you go to download section and you'll see there's a link here which is download tool now to create a windows 10 installation media once you download that uh, software you let it run and then you follow the instructions and then you can see that on this separate computer that i'm running here i have a usb drive which was formatted uh, in just a standard format you don't have to be concerned about that and then you'll see it it calls itself esd usb and it installs the windows 10 operating system which is self boot this is the memory stick which then you plug into your nook which i've just shown and that will be the installation media and then obviously it'll have to be connected to a monitor so you can see what you're doing uh, the nook uses HDMI as you can see there's the HDMI and this is the HDMI cable that I'm going to use this happens to be a five meter cable That's what the HDMI fitting looks like You just want to plug the male into the female over there and there we go And now I will just wire this to the monitor. I can now power up my a uh, little Intel Nook by pressing the button there. You can uh, change these lights and how it uh, um, displays in the bio settings and what you'll see is if the USB is uh, installed directly into the Nook's uh, USB slot, it will automatically go to the Windows setup, as you can see. So that is the standard Windows setup. And then I'm just going to select it using my mouse. And that's it. Okay, you will have to put your product key in now. I will do that at a later stage. I just want to install the Windows. And these are the different options. I'm going to install Windows 10 Pro 64 bit. Right, so this is the SSD drive, and I'm just going to say format. Well, I can put your new, and that's the full size. And there we say OK. Right, now you can see it makes a few of uh, these additional partitions. This is mostly for the uh, Windows uh, 10 operating system in terms of how it manages recovery and things like that. So I'm now just going to say next because that is the biggest partition and that's the partition I want to install Windows 10. And there we go. You can see that it's now going to go through the installation and using the USB, you can see it is pretty quick.